Aries, don't be mad at me. I know we're we're, we're kind of running behind when I'm dropping this reading, girl. We had to we had to take some time out for morning. Okay, I hope everybody is. I hope everybody is okay. I hope everybody is okay in light of recent events. Okay, Aries, let's talk about your life for the month of November. Seeing what's going on with you, seeing what's coming your way. Check that chart. You could have any placement of Aries and be up in here. Um, bookings are open. My price and contact information is down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Um, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel, please. And thank you. Okay, so. Um, be aware the infamous, the notorious, the legendary Mercury retrograde baby it is making its way downtown, walking fast at the end of the month. All right, um, it's gonna be the last Mercury retrograde of the year, of course, right? But yeah, we in this year with a fucking bag, apparently. All right, so just be aware of that. Um, Aries, we have pulled the zodiac signs of who could be around you, who the message in this reading could be about and or pertain to. And what other uh, monthly readings might have some messages for you? So, Aries, we have Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, and then we have Leo showing up on the bottom of the deck. Um, so, you guys could have any, um, you could have placements of these signs. These signs could be around you. Like I said, some messages in this reading could pertain to one of these signs. Um, since Leo is showing up on the bottom of the deck, some of you guys might have or need to create distance between you and a Leo, or like I said, you already have. Oh, overall energy. Excuse me. Exit the comfort zone. Excuse me. Showing up with their draining your energy showing up on the bottom of the deck. Uh oh, the fucking burps coming through. So that's a sign for me. If some of you guys, I feel like you might need to be, I'm hearing candid about a certain situation. You know what that means, girl? Mm. You might need to be real about a certain situation that you could be in or attached to during this time. And I see that some of you guys, whenever you decide to get outside your comfort zone, whenever you decide to get outside the box, think outside the box, move in a different way that you haven't before, you're going to realize that certain places, situations, um, people or circumstances is taking more from you than you're gaining from it. And it's up to you to be like, you know what? I think you see how the you see how the other uh, person stop. It's up to you to be like, I think it's finally time for me to, you know, uh, I I just heard give my exit papers. So some of you guys could be prepare, could be preparing to quit a job, preparing to leave a home, preparing to leave a person. Spirit guys. What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? No, 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 no. That would have been too many, too many, too many. What's happening to the... Who is this? Aries Zodiac for the month of November of 2024. I got a lot on my mind, all right? I got shit going on. Ooh. First card out is the world card. Check your chart because you could have Saturn in Aries. But what is this? This is growth. This is leveling up. This is evolving. This is you stepping into a new era of life. Okay. New life. Oh, congratulations. Some of you guys could be pregnant, finding out about a pregnancy. Um, what's the what's the other one? Um, or bringing a child into this world. Congratulations. Did I say congratulations? Congrats. You know, I love babies. Okay. Wow, that was kind of crazy. Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Why you got to be like that, Aries? You know, the first thing that came to mind is, well, I see there's some bitches you ain't fucking with. Seven of Wands is here. Leo card, because as far as I energy, I would apply this to you. I'm seeing that some of you guys have actually blocked a couple of females off of your social media. Like, nah, that, that bitch can't look me up. Neither can her fucking friend. Yeah, these hoes don't like me anyway. Page of Wands. Some of you guys, it could be specific feminine energies that you have decided to stay away from. Um, heavy on the water, heavy on the earth. Then we have Leo. Shit, I'm going to be real with you. A lot of women could be going through this. And I only say this because there's a woman in this card. And then we have two feminine energies here. Let me tell you how this could apply to the women. Women... The older you get, the more knowledgeable you become, the more wise you become. 
certain bitches ain't gonna fuck with you. Certain bitches ain't gonna fuck with you. That's a double entendre. Let me let me explain. Certain bitches ain't gonna fuck with you because of the way that you move. And certain bitches ain't gonna fuck with you because they can't. It's it, it, it's physically impossible for them to fuck with you, you know? We ain't in the same bracket. Be, be for real. Um, page of Wands. And you will notice that certain feminine energies will have an issue with you, will have a problem with you, just be just off the um Some of y'all just off the cuff of dick, you know. Um, a man that they're attracted to is, is attracted to you. Like you had control over that. Um, some of you guys, it's, you know, money. Um, some of y'all, it's, it's just, you know, the things that you do, the way that you move. Dun, 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 dun. If I'm talking to the men or the women, because I feel like either a man or a woman could be interested in women, right? Um, a lot of you guys... The type of people, the type of person that you are interested in, um, certain people ain't going to be able to jive with you, I just heard. And it's because with the world card, I'm hearing you are a very well-rounded person. So you're not someone, you know, I ain't got no zoo subscription. Never entered my home. No shade, no disrespect to the ones who have been on that type of time. But for you, it's just like, there's just certain things I refuse to invest effort, energy, money into, all right? And I'm going to be real. That sets you apart from other people who might be on everybody else or societal's time. What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. Now, on a more personal note, Aries, I'm seeing you want more out of life. You want more out of a career. You want more for a career. You want to achieve certain goals. You are, uh, ha uh, you know, uh, what, what's that? What, what's what I want to say? Wanting to obtain more goals for yourself. You know, somebody here will never figure out their own life if they're using your blueprint to live it. That's a fucking bar. Somebody here will never figure out their own life if they are using your blueprint to live it. High Priestess, Eight of Swords, King of Swords, and the Sun with the Moon card. I'm telling y'all, Aries, a lot, a lot of y'all have an issue with people outside of you trying to copy you or mimic you, look like you. And it's like, girl, it don't look or hit the same. Eight of Swords, High Priestess, and the King of Swords. Nobody look watching you, Otis, all right? Some of you guys have this have this with people so where it's like they come around you they see what you're involved in what you're attracted to what you're interested in what you're interested in the way that you move and rather than people just feel inspired by you or just be appreci appreciative of the efforts that you're doing on your part for your life they're like i'm gonna steal that i'm going to act exactly like you Mind you, King of Swords, High Priest, and the Eight of Swords. This is somebody here who has no original thoughts of their own. This is somebody here who has no authenticity. They're still finding themselves in other people. A lot of you guys have been through this situation with a Taurus, a Virgo, an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Leo, um, Cancer, Pisces. What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? The Six of Swords with the Queen of Swords. A lot of y'all are also realizing that's why I keep quiet about the things that I'm working on or working towards. Not everybody to know everything. All right. I just heard some of you guys could be working on like a book. So some of you guys could be writers, authors. Okay. You know, I like that. You know, I like diversity. Okay. I'm here. Sometimes you got a lot of niggas. <laughs> nah, not for real, not for real, not for real, not for real, maybe. But sometimes you can't let people in on what you got going on, what you're focused on. Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. And unfortunately, I've seen some of you guys have had to deal with this in your work environment. These people don't even know my social media. These people don't know when I'm taking my vacation or why I wasn't here on Tuesday. 
Who are you? Are you the feds? I, I see some of you guys taking on that sort of, uh, that sort of personality or um, energy during this time. Like, you'll find out when you see it. I like this, though, because with the Nine of Wands, you are becoming so protective or have become so protective and guarded regarding your... I just heard objectives, but, you know, like your pursuits, your goals, what you're working on. And of yourself. A lot of you guys have been taking a lot more time out to work on yourself your mental your physical like i said certain goals that you have what's happened to the aries zodiac in the month of november of 2024 and with you doing this a lot of y'all as soon as i was about to say a lot of you guys are outgrowing certain environments and a lot of y'all it go is bigger than your family it's bigger than your job a lot of y'all outgrowing a certain city a certain state a certain town will of fortune in the world card this for me is like so people don't know i will i don't know uh, I was born in a small town. I've lived in a couple of them. So I was born in South Carolina. I was born in Aiken, South Carolina, but I was raised in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Both the small towns. Um, Orangeburg, if you real familiar with the town, I was, I was raised in Roosevelt Gardens. Okay, low income project housing. Right down the street from Claflin University. Most people who know you from Roosevelt Gardens or know you from Orangeburg, you stay in Orangeburg. Might move out of Roosevelt Gardens. You might move out the gardens, but you don't move out of Orangeburg. Might go to Columbia. Maybe Spartanburg. Maybe Sumter. But most people who are from small towns, people don't leave in small towns. Even out here in fucking Charlotte. Now, I didn't go to school in Charlotte. I went to school out in Concord and Harrisburg. So... People that I know in Concord, people who I went to school with in Concord, they ain't never left. Mind you, I'm back in Charlotte. <laughs> Mind you, I'm back in Charlotte, but it's been after I lived in a couple different places. I lived in Tennessee for a whole year, okay? I only came back to get my shit back right. Not going, not about to reveal my plans, right? But we are on borrowed time, bitch, okay? But some of you guys, the person that you are becoming, it's getting too big, <laughs> It's outgrowing certain environments. And you'll start to realize that the way that you think, the way that you move, the, your behaviors, your patterns, your habits are not going to sync up with a certain environment, location, place, people. Another placement of Aries. Check your chart. Jupiter in Aries is here. What's, ha Ooh, what's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November 2024? I'm also here in Aries. You might got to grow up or mature in certain departments of your life. This is like Eight of Pentacles. You got to start. Like You can't be at this job forever. You don't want to be like fucking Patty. 52, you know, saying one day she going to leave this place. Maybe. But, girl, she's looking a little slim. Her chances are kind of slim. I ain't going to lie to you. All right? Um... It's like letting go of things that you've already mastered. Eight of Pentacles. It's like you have gone as far as you can here. You're ready for more. Ace of Wands. You're ready for more. You're ready for a new chapter, a new beginning, a new era. Now, this Ace of Wands is definitely Aries energy. A lot of you guys, you see this for yourself, but you can't make it happen today. You can't make it happen tomorrow. Probably can't even make it happen this month. Maybe. I don't know what your current situation is. But some of you guys are realizing, like, you know, um, this is something that I have to set into motion because like I said, it's not going to be an overnight thing. This transference, six of swords that you want to do. Two of swords and the knight of wands is you still trying to figure out where you want to go, where you want to end up. What's your next journey going to be? But you have to figure out that you've outgrown something. Okay. It's like the first step you got to figure out that you, you're done with something, if that makes sense. Two of swords just fell out on the floor and it fell out face up. So, yeah, this is you kind of like getting out that deciding energy. It's like a choice has to be made. What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? The Hierophant. 
it's your granddaddy with the ten of wands showing up on the bottom of the deck you got some crazy cards bro so you have the world the will of fortune and the hierophant divine interference divine intervention sometimes whenever god whoever your spiritual beliefs are sometimes when the universe see that you not getting up on a good foot i just heard you're not participating in your excel we might gotta move some shit around to make them move sometimes the universe gonna force your hand because they see that you might be complacent or comfortable so they might have certain things happening in your life to where it's like with the ten of wands oh you gonna get tired of this you're gonna get fed up with this that's gonna be the only way though king of swords you detach from something you separate from something and then look at that king of swords and the star card and little did you know that was from up above. That was what exactly what you needed. What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? Um, I see someone here feels as though they have outgrown a relationship. What's crazy is with the higher fan, they could have proposed to this person or married this person. Or maybe they was thinking about marrying this person. Maybe they was thinking about Page of Wands having kids with this person. Or they already have. And now they've reached a point to where they're growing apart from this person. The Aries wants to do one thing and the person that the Aries is dealing with wants to do something else. And either the Aries ain't on the same type of time or the person that Aries has around isn't on the same type of time. And the Aries is now being met with the question, well, what you going to do? You going to sit here? Not a wand. You're just going to plant your feet firm and put up with this, even though you know that you have outgrown this? Or are you going to make some hard decisions? Some Aries, gonna, you know they're going to plant their feet. Four of Pentacles and Nine of Wands. They're going to hold on to that little job. They're going to hold on to that little relationship. They're going to hold on to that peace. It's a peace, bro. And with the nine of wands, they just going to become the Atlas. Y'all know that, uh, what's it, Greek mythology? They just going to carry the world on their back. They just going to carry a burdensome situation, a burdensome circumstances. I got this. Page of wands. I'm going to be real with you. I would not give not near a duty to a page of wands. That's a, chick, that's a kid. That's like asking the kid, hey, make sure you clean the house. He's seven. Mm. Mm. We're getting into deeper territory. I do see some parenting differences out here. Some of you guys could be having this with somebody that you have a child with. It's like, he needs to be a man. He's three. Don't, don't pick him up when he, when he start crying. He's three. When the fuck did this, this, when the fuck did this baby stop being a baby? Okay, some of you guys have an issue with someone with their parenting skills or someone that you have a child with. It's either an issue of a person wanting to keep somebody in a child's place and it's like, no, world card and the will of fortune. You need to let them grow. Um, or this is... someone here who's just very careless with children you know they're putting them in dangerous situations dangerous predicaments they're putting them around people to where it's like why would you do that it's a baby mm, mm, mm. Ooh, ooh, we that's that's some different territory <laughs> what's happening to the aries zodiac in the month of november of 2024 excuse me death with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, I'm telling you, Aries, you know, hey, please don't make the universe force your hand whenever you need to enact change in your life. But sometimes you ain't going to, they ain't soft. The universe ain't about, about soft parenting. Hey, we're going to do what need to be done. We've been soft parenting you this entire time. We, ain't, we have not gotten involved this entire time. We must step in. And you can't tell us how or how much we should step in when we decide to step in. So some of y'all, like I said, will have certain circumstances or occurrences happen in your life to make you change. To make you start moving in a different way. Seven of Cups. Anything that you was kind of already needing to see through, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
I'm a fucking beast with these cars, bro. I'm surgical. Seven of Cups and the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is you, Aries. You need to see through so you can move on, move forward. Last card. What's happening to the Aries Zodiac in the month of November of 2024? That's crazy for the last card. I mean, things were going well. The devil. Now, I see a lot of different things out here. We have the world and the devil. Anytime I see those two cards in the reading together, this for me represents you going through a karmic cycle um, or a situation where you had to learn a hard lesson. I don't know if y'all can tell, but these two figures kind of look alike. They're just in different forms, different formats. So the world is when you have learned your lesson, you have allowed experiences to change, morph, and transform you for the betterment of you versus the devil. You sticking to certain policies, habits, patterns, situations that feed your flesh, feed your ego, feed your desires. But consequently, is that a word? Consequentially? Consequently? It, at the detriment of, of yourself, at the detriment of you. So this is you putting up with certain situations that you know, it's like, girl, how many times do you have to learn? Death card before you separate from this. Hierophant, we've we've shown you the way, Six of Swords. We've shown you that, you know, stop trying to be a part of this environment, a part of this situation. Stop trying to have these people or this person in your life. Just move on, Six of Swords. Start elsewhere. Shit is possible. Ace of Wands. But pride, ego, vanity, page of wands, death card, and the devil might be keeping someone from letting go of a situation completely. Performing surgery with your other hand? You know, it's either you're going to choose uh, new or misery. One or the other. Um, we have Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio. Um, check your chart because you could have Saturn or Jupiter in Aries and some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Like this.